Tankery has been one of my favorite Roblox games and I want to review it and spread it all out to you guys because this game is starting to deteriorate from many problems. For those who don't know, Tankery is just a Roblox tank game which is similar to World of Tanks and War Thunder but we'll get into the details later on in the video. If you clicked on this video thinking that it will be a proper review video, you clicked on the wrong video. But if you still are gonna watch it, that would also be great. Opening up the game will send you to the hangar. In the hangar, you can buy tanks, paint tanks, select whatever tank you want, uh, and go to battle, whatever you want to do. Ah. Opening up the shop will let you buy new tanks from different countries. Here you go, you've seen all of them now. Opening up the paint shop would let you customize your tanks. If you think you could paint your tank to some anime, you're obviously playing the wrong game. Instead, you get a total of 9 paint jobs, some of which aren't very appealing. But in fact, the paint remover does remove paint. Very cool. The help button really helps out. All you have to do is move, shoot, capture, and win. <sighs> Not gonna lie, this was better explanation than my friends telling me that communism is better. <laughs> How the game works is pretty self-explanatory. It's like your normal everyday tank game. Tankery has three game modes, Deathmatch, King of the Hill, and Last Standing. Last stand. Team Deathmatch is a game mode where there is no objective than to massacre the entire enemy team. Each match is 10 minutes and within that 10 minute time frame, whichever team gets the most kills at the end would win the match. King of the Hill and The Last Standing are both very similar game modes. In King of the Hill, whoever captures the points and holds that point for 200 seconds, that team wins. Last Stand is a game mode where there are different objectives for both teams. One team has the objective of capturing a point that is held by the other team before the time runs out in order to win while the other team has to defend that point to prevent, prevent it from being captured until the time runs out. But here's the thing, as much as I hate my life, I do not like these two game modes. The reason why is that these two game modes have this thing called realistic mode. And realistic mode is a mode where the tank's health pool is reduced by a significant amount to be more like War Thundery. The equation to this health system is 75 times the tank's tier plus the frontal hull armor of the tank. For example, the Leopard is a tier 6 tank with a frontal hull armor of 131mm, which makes it 581 health and LS. The reason why I hate these two game modes is that you get less credits to each match, and also that each match only lasts around not even 5 minutes sometimes, due to an imbalance of teams. In Tankery, there are three servers, low tier, mid tier, and high tier. High tier being the default one when you join the game. For the rest of this video, I'll be talking about these three servers and how they play. Hi, and welcome to a low tier server. In this server, you get to choose tanks from tiers 1 through 2. My tank of choice will be my Skittles Painted Sweat Sponge Swiss Wagon. In low tier servers, you only can play the two modes, King of the Hill and Last Stand, which uh, I do not really like, but it isn't really a great place to grind for your money because you get less damage and less damage means you get less credits, but you can get more kills. And getting more kills will get you more gold and with more gold you can buy premium tanks low tier servers can be rather enjoyable than other servers due to you only have tiers 1 to 2 so there's no seal clubbing but the fact that the, there's a pretty low player count in low tier servers might not be great moving on to mid tier servers there's a bit of a problem it's a, a low tier server but you can play with tiers 1 to 4. Mid-tier servers are pretty chaotic and abysmal, in my opinion. Mainly because tier 4 tanks completely dominate the entire server, mainly the Tiger 2. The Tiger 2 has more armor than 10 wall banks on a BFG 50. 
while most tanks can't even penetrate over 190 millimeters of armor. The players on in this server are rather competitive, or my skill of playing this game is reduced to atoms. Likely a bit of both. High tier servers are probably the most unenjoyable one of all of them. In this server, you can use tier 1 through tier 6, which is the highest tier in the game. It isn't very enjoyable because people can start seal clubbing early World War II tanks with Cold War main battle tanks, which is not fun if you already had played War Thunder before. The reason why I'm telling this game to you guys is because it's starting to die because of the bugs that are starting to appear. Sure, you playing this game might be enjoyable for some players, but not for you. The fall of older Roblox games is starting to break because of updates and the fact that the developer is not updating the game as much, we might also witness the death of this game anytime soon. Yeah, but the game is still in working condition, so we go play it now, idiots.